Click on the subscribe button and press the bell icon for watching more update videos. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum friends. This is Sami and you are watching Civil Engineers YouTube channel. Different study my topic is very important for all civil engineers and the topic is how to design the water tank for a small family. You must watch this video to the end then you will be able to learn how to design the water tank for the hospital, for the house, for a school, for a college, etc. So too much interesting and important topic for today. Remember, for more videos, you must like this video and subscribe this channel because per day I upload one video to this YouTube channel for my new students. So, if you need the civil engineering articles, new update, uh, new information about civil engineering, these kind of articles uh, uh, about my videos, so you are able to visit my website www.civilglobal.com. Let's start. Don't forget to like and subscribe this channel. Okay, so design of water tank. So first of all, let's start. So first of all, we have to uh, find out the requirement for one person per day volume of water. Okay, so volume of water requirement for one person per day. So per day, 135 liters of water are required for one person. How? So these are the details. So for per capita per day, Volume of water are required for drinking five liters. Okay? Second, for the cooking, every person per day, they need five liters of water for cooking. For bathing and toilet, 85 liters per day for per capita. House cleaning, 10 liters. Cloth washing, 30 liters. So total water, 135 liters per day per capita for one person per day volume of water are required 135 liters okay so therefore when you want to design the water tank for a small family or for industry for school for college for house for anything else so it's depend on the volume of water requirement for one person per day. So this is the average 135 liters per day per capita are required for every person per day. Right. So it's depend on the population. OK, then you are able to find out the volume of water tank. So therefore, it's called design of water tank. OK, so the second one now we have a so design of water tank now okay for 12 member family for 12 members family i have to find out the volume of water tank okay so total water required requirement okay so 135 liters are required for one person per day okay so multiply 12 because 12 members in a small family and I have to design a water tank for a small family. Okay, so 135 liters are require uh, requirement for one person per day. So 12 members are in one family. So total water requirements 1620 liters per day required for 12 members family. Total water 1620 liters per day required. So we know that. What do we know that? We know that density of water, 1,000 liters per meter cube. Okay, so one meter cube is equal 1,000 liters of water. Okay, so one liter is equal 1 divided by 1,000. Okay, so meter cube. So one liter is equal 0 0.001 meter cube. So this is the volume of one liter, right? Remember, one extra, one liter of water is also is equal one kg, okay? So now, this one, but our water requirement is 1620 liters, how? 135 liters are required for one person per day. So 12 members, 12 members family, we have a to design a water tank for a 12 members family. So 135 multiply 12. So 1620. 
So 1620, so our water requirement is 1620 liters. So 1620 liters multiply 0 0.001 because the one liter volume is in meter cube 0 0.001. How? One liter because one liter is equal to one divided by 1000. So 0 0.001 meter cube. So 1620 multiply 0 0.001 meter cube. So one liter volume multiply 1620 liters of water. So volume of water 1.62 meter cube. Right? Okay. Now assume the height of the water tank. So I will assume. Just say 1.5 meter will be the height of the water tank for 16 members family. Right? When you want to design a water tank for them. Right, so find the area of tank. So is equal one six <clears throat> one point six two is the volume of water. So one point six two find area of tank. So one point six two divided by one point five. I have to find out the area of water tank. So one point five is a just assume the height of tank. Okay, so one point five is equal. So one point six two divided by one point five is equal one point zero eight meter square. So this is the area of water tank, right? So now to find length and breadth of water tank. So already we know this is the area. So just take the under root on this area. Okay? So when you take the uh, uh, under root, so it will give you is equal 1.039233 meter, right? So this is the side so it gave us the side okay so already one side 1.039 so length uh, so already height is here so 1.5 meter i have already assumed here okay now the length is already this one and the breadth is already this one so when you want to design the water tank so what we have to do here <coughs> just look at here so this is the uh, Look at this. Sorry. Okay. So 1.039. Okay. Also this side. So uh, it will be <coughs> already gave us. So this is the water tank. So how it will be? This is the water tank design. Right. Okay. So the height will be. So this is the length okay and this is the width or breadth okay already 1.039 and height is 1.5 meter okay so this is the water tank design for the small family 12 members okay for the 12 members so this is the important topic for today so you're able now to design the water tank for school college anything else if you need so important topic for today must like and subscribe this channel thank you all the best bye